what are the differences between education and indoctrination? When you're speaking about education, it is something that your mind is normally open for. When education... Because well, the Royal education Waterways, you, you know, form the basis of quantum theory in the sense that it actually gave uh, the waves, okay, and then you have a tomb that's shooting out of the waves, that's the building block, okay, of the, the entire universe, okay, atom, okay, which is today is called atom, okay, this, as the Asian Africans had it, was the basis of, and this is the roaring, the water waves, okay, this is the roaring water waves of none, okay, and out of it comes the atom, which is the building block, and of course atom is a hydrogen atom, okay, with a proton and a neutron and an electron out there. That's what a tomb in the model of the ancient Africans was like. Okay? All right. So, in summary, that's what Gagat has done in terms of the origin of the universe. Of course, there's mathematics behind that. And so, ancient Africans... By the way, a tomb is the base of the quantum theory that is being studied today. Okay? The hydrogen atom as a building block was the one that was examined by the modern day quantum theorists to look at if they can break it further. Okay? From the model that was given by the ancient Africans. That's Adam. That's Adam. That's correct. The hydrogen atom. Okay? You know, they want to see if you could actually break it further down. And they've actually uh, come up with what they call quarks and leptons as the more fundamental. It turns out that the leptons are basically electron-like. Okay? They, are, they have characteristics of electron, positive, negative. The charges may be different and so on and so on. But basically, they're electrons. So they didn't go too far from the model given by the ancient Africans. So you can say that the ancient Africans are the the fathers, the grandfathers, and grandmothers of the quantum theory. Mm -hmm. But they did more than develop a quantum theory, okay? Because the atom as a building block was such a successful, concrete model, okay? They were able to develop a lot of, you know, the beginnings of knowledge as we know it today. All right. Quantum simply means particle. Quantum. It's another one for particle. A part of. A, yeah, a particle, yes. <laughs> a particle, okay? Now, so, and that's what the ancient Africans presented. A particle that has a proton in the core and a neutron, and outside, rotating around it, is, is an electron. This was called hydrogen atom. Okay? This is the ancient, uh, you know. Now, in other words, quantum theory looks at a universe that's made up of particles. Particles. That's basically about quantum theory. Particles. So when you say that the universe is made up of particles, then you are interested in finding the most fundamental particle that constitutes this uh, world that you're looking at. That's the whole theory about quantum theory. And that is where our, uh, I mean, the ancient Africans began. That idea is purely there, is it? because... When they were thinking about it, they precede everybody. They were there, they were thinking about this way before everybody. Okay? Because we're talking 20,000, more than 20,000 years ago. Okay? So, so, and that idea is what is quantum theory today. Because they did more than a quantum theory. They did, um, they did miracles, literally. Okay? The ancient Africans were also called 
schematic people, which is where the word chemistry comes from. As a result of this development, mm -hmm. chemistry, you replace the K with C, it doesn't matter to the pronunciation. Chem. This word, actually, which was coined by the Europeans, uh, is a combination of two words. Okay? The chem or the mystery, okay? And then chem, which stands for chemetic people. And of course, chem is, if you go into the dictionary, it actually means black, as in black people. Okay? There is no illusions about that. That's the additional definition of chem means black, referring to and chemetic, chemetic land, which is, you know, uh, you know, uh, which is what Egypt was called, was land of the black people. Kemetic, that's right. Kemetic land means the land of black people. And that's where the camp comes from, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the mystery refers to what they did with this atom. Okay? This model of atom led to this mystery that the Europeans describe the subject called chemistry, which you ordinarily know as a study of elements and compounds. That's what, you know, ordinarily chemistry is supposed to be about. But the reason they were called mystery of the ancient Africans was because if you gave the ancient African a scrap scrap metal, okay? Mm -hmm. They will transform that into gold. Okay? They turned scrap metal into gold. That, and, you know, and the subject under which that was done was called the mystery, because that is a mystery to take a scrap into gold, turn it into gold, become the mystery of the ancient Africans. The subject was also called alchemy. Alchemy. Okay, by the Arabs. Okay, again, the key word is black people. Okay, by way of black people, ancient Africans. Okay, this was by the, the Arabs, who actually get the word to the Europeans. Okay, now, so, but how did they do this mystery? If you like, call it a black magic. Okay? Black magic is what chemistry, interpretation of, another interpretation of chemistry, a mystery of the ancient Africans. So, uh, because they were turning this scrap into gold. How did they do that? Well, it was a big puzzle in Europe. Okay? And of course, much later on, uh, a big scientists and mathematicians like Newton would be very dedicated to alchemy or chemistry. Okay? And a lot of uh, you know, famous people have studied the subject. The question is, how did they actually turn the scrap metal into gold? They used, according to Gagot's uh, 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 you know, deductions from the God Almighty's granny and fire truth, that mystery can be explained from their model of the universe as coming from a tomb as a building block. You can explain uh, the mystery, which is chemistry, okay, of the ancient Africans, you know, in which scrap metals were turned into gold by using, by using deduction from Gaga and the theory that the, the ancient Africans have put together. And this is the way it goes. In the process, you would see that the whole chemistry has been, in effect, revised by Gaga, the new theory. And in order to see this mystery, I will take you back to the periodic chart in your chemistry. Periodic chart has... I don't want to get to solutions first because we have a tendency to not study the problem at its essential. In other words, I want to do all the things I want to do and keep doing it. And if you can, please get rid of the symptoms so that I can continue to do it.